So guys, today, as requested, I am going to be showing you how to get any car for free in GTA 5 Online. So this is basically the PlayStation 3 version of how to get any car for free, but this also works on the Xbox 360. So for all you 360 users out there, you can also use this as well. Now at the very end of this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the giveaway winner, so make sure you stay tuned just in case you did win if you did enter. And with that being said guys, if you do go on to enjoy, all that I ask is that you leave a like, it really does help me out. And without further ado, let's get straight into this. So the first thing you guys want to do is go into a single player session and then from there you want to go ahead and get any vehicle that you want to bring in from single player to multiplayer. I would suggest one of the three DLC cars, one of the new ones from the High Life and I would suggest fully upgrading it. But once you guys have got any vehicle that you want to bring in, simply park it anywhere on the map in a relatively good location and then quick save whilst you are inside of that vehicle. Now once you guys have quick saved, simply press start, go to online and then go into an invite only session and that will spawn you down into a multiplayer session. Now from there guys what you want to do is once you have spawned down into multiplayer, you want to walk back over to the position you was just in, in single player where you have quick saved the vehicle and as you guys can see, iCrazy Teddy does spawn down in the exact location and this is iCrazy Teddy's footage guys make sure you check him out down in the description below. He was kind enough to lend me the footage as I don't own a playstation. But nevertheless, as you can see, iCrazy Teddy is already in the location. But all you guys want to do is simply make sure that your spawn location is set to last location. Go to the area where the car was in single player, leave GTA Online, come back to GTA Online, and your last location will have saved. Now once your last location has saved in the exact same spot you was in in single player, what you then want to do is press start. Then be prepared as soon as you enter the PlayStation or Xbox store, as soon as you press A on the very first zoom out, you need to plug out your Ethernet cable, wireless adapter or disconnect your internet and then as soon as you guys have done that, simply plug it back in or reconnect your internet. Now once you guys have done that, it will spawn you down into a single player session. Now once you guys have spawned into that single player game, what you then want to do is press start then go across to game and then you want to load up the very first game save you did at the very start the one where you were sitting inside of the vehicle that you want to bring in from single player to multiplayer now once you guys have loaded up that game save it will load you into the game and as you guys can see i am sitting in the same vehicle that i was in at the very start and then from there what you guys want to do is hold down on the d-pad and select your multiplayer character but be prepared guys as soon as you select your multiplayer character you will get a message that comes up and from here you need to be very fast as soon as you press x what you then want to do is wait for the very first zoom out once again as soon as you guys see that very first zoom out pull out your ethernet cable or disconnect from the internet once again and once you guys have done that wait about one second and plug it back in now once you guys have plugged it back in it will then prompt you to sign back into the account you disconnected from and once you guys have done that it will then spawn you down into an online session and from there the vehicle will now have successfully have transferred from single player to multiplayer and once again this can be done with any vehicle and then you guys can store this in your garage as you guys can see it has now successfully transferred in the exact location and if you guys want to store that vehicle in your garage what you then want to do is do an insurance glitch and if you guys want to know how to do the insurance glitch I will have a link in the top right corner of the screen via annotation or down in the description below make sure you guys check that out and then that will show you how to store the vehicle inside of your garage. Anyway guys, that is pretty much it for the video. If you did find it hard to follow, as this wasn't my footage, so it is kind of hard for me to commentate, I will have a text tutorial also down in the description below, just in case you guys need it. And without further ado, I hope you guys did enjoy, and I may also try to get out a PS3 and Xbox 360 version of this single player to multiplayer glitch, but the signing out method. So if you guys want to see that, be sure to hit the like button down below, and I will try to get that out to you guys. I'm not promising too much, but I will try my hardest. Also, the winners of my giveaway are on your screens right now. I did this a while back, but these two are the winners. I did the randomizer today, and that randomizer video will be out very shortly. But you two guys are the winners. I have now messaged you, so make sure you check your messages. And tell me what you want, either for the Xbox or the PlayStation 3. Anyway, guys, we're going to leave it there. If you guys want to go ahead and follow us on Twitter, you can do so at 2DynamicHD. We will answer any of your questions on there. And without further ado, I will see you all in the next video.